Hey, how you do? Oh, sh Oh, is everything okay? Oh, no, everything's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, oh. Okay, how are you doing today, Kay? I'm doing fine. I'm just a bit worried about today since it's my first time. Don't even worry. It's completely normal for somebody to feel scared the first time to get an abortion. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at your file. <clears throat> Alright, it says here that you are 10 weeks pregnant, that you will be receiving a DNC abortion, also known as dilation and curatage. Is that correct? Yes. I'm not sure how it's done, though. I only signed up for the DNC because that's the only option uh, for how far along I am in the pregnancy. Okay, would you like for me to explain what it is and what the doctor will be doing? Yes, I would like to know what's going on in my- Okay. First, the cervix is dilated, which means that it is made wider. Then, a suction device is placed on the uterine cavity, which sucks out the placenta and the fetus. Then something called a curette, which is shaped like this, it's a loop-shaped knife, will be placed in your uterus and will be scraped around the uterus walls, taking out the remaining placenta or fetus parts, and then you are good, and it's done. Um, okay. I guess that's fine. Well, it's the only option for right now since you're only 10 weeks pregnant, but something you could do is wait a couple more weeks, come back in, uh, we'll do a different type of abortion on you, uh, will cost more money since you're rescheduling last minute, and the procedure will be more difficult, and will take a higher skill level from the doctor, so, um, it's completely up to you. No, 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 no! I'm gonna stick with it! I need this out of me! Like, right now! What's the main reason you want to get rid of this fetus? Well, my boyfriend and I were messing around at this party that my friend threw, and, um, we both wanted to do it, you know, but he didn't have protection, and so, um, I told him not to do it, because we weren't going to be protected, but he insisted, and I didn't want to get him mad, and he said he was going to pull- Okay, and that's for your f***ing life story, I asked for the main reason. Oh, sorry, uh, um, I can't afford the baby, if I gave birth to it, the baby and I would both be in poverty, because- I can't afford it, my family can't afford it, and neither can my boyfriend. So the only option that I saw was to abort it. Well, another option you could have gone with is put the baby up for adoption. And come on, Kay, what were you thinking? You guys gotta stick with the big A. Abstinence? <laughs> oh, no. 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 Doctor will be with you in a minute. Oh my god, I could have done that. But no! I am gonna stay with it. Because it's my body and I will do what I want with my body. And it's my constitutional right to get an abortion if I wish. Come in! Hey, Kay, how's it? Holy s***! Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, I am Dr. Ash Hall. Um, okay then? So, did the nurse tell you everything that you need to know? Uh, what you're getting, the procedure of the DNC, the risks? No, he didn't go over the risks with me. Okay, well, the risks of getting an abortion, which are in this pamphlet that I have made, um, says abdominal pain, nausea, heavy or persistent internal bleeding, diarrhea, <laughs> uh, sepsis, which is the presence of harmful bacteria in your mm -hmm, damage to the cervix, scarring of the uterine line, damage to other organs, and death. Yeah, you could die. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't even worry about it, Kay. Deaths in DNC abortions are so rare. There's about one death in every 530,000 abortions done on a woman that is 10 weeks pregnant or less. And besides, you're in good hands. I've never lost a patient before when giving an abortion. Okay. I think I'm ready for it. You ready? Let's get started. <laughs> 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 <laughs>